Yesterday, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine delayed an execution until next year because the state's lethal injection method has been declared unconstitutional. Now the governor wants to look at other options. Here's First News Ohio State House reporter Jason Aubrey. According to Ohio law, the only way you can be put to death right now is through lethal injection. And Governor DeWine plans to speak with leaders here at the State House to see if that law can be changed. A recent ruling by a judge that Ohio's execution drug protocol was in violation of the cruel and unusual prohibition has forced Governor DeWine to take action. With that decision, uh, I did not intend and would not have an execution carried out with that protocol in the state of Ohio. Um, that position has not changed. He asked the Department of Corrections to come up with a different drug protocol, and they have been unable to do so, in part because of state law. Ohio law only prescribes one way of execution, and that is through lethal injection. Ohio law does not prescribe other, other manners of execution. So he plans to talk to state lawmakers about solving that problem. I think that this brings up a, a, a you know, bigger issue uh, about how we proceed in regard to executions. And this is a, it's an ongoing discussion. Adversaries of the death penalty commend DeWine's effort, but say the wrong thing is still being focused on. Governor DeWine is being very, very thoughtful about this issue. But I think the question is wrong. They're talking about how should we kill our prisoners, and, and really we shouldn't be killing anybody while the system is as broken as it is. Bonowitz gave the example of the system being broken because of inequities. A murder may result in a death penalty case in one county, but not another. Anti-death penalty advocates claim that we are just as safe if we lock someone up for life than if we were to put them to death. At the State House, I'm Jason Aubrey.